Are you sure you are human? Or are you just another robot locked into the system? <laughs> and then the next day you go home, or later in the day you go home, you come the next morning, you plug in. Are you human? Because being human, what makes you uniquely human is not your academic excellence. It is not your mental superiority or your technical skills. That's not what makes you human in the age in which you are living. And like I mentioned earlier, because we are interacting so much with technology. When you do have an interaction with a human being, it should be meaningful. And that's what makes you human. It is not about you carrying your certificate right here. You don't have an MPA? And that's what all your talk is about. You don't have a PhD? No one can get past you. You're just another robot blocking into the system, and that's your way of thinking. So, for you to be human requires that you develop and sharpen your soft skills. Without soft skills, people are essentially robots. And we don't need any more robots <laughs> flooding our world than we already do. You need to have a human element within you. And when you look at that image, you will see some of the most valued soft skills. Somebody said, common sense has... <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Common sense is so scarce that it's supposed to be classified as a superpower. <laughs> Who agrees with that? Because, so, exactly, at least I have someone in the house who say, yeah, Nikki. You know, because basic things that you think someone will understand, they're like, I have a degree in accounting. No common sense whatsoever. All you need is to, to solve whatever you are solving. Sometimes most of it just needs common sense. It doesn't need a degree. Most of it just need common sense to get certain processes sorted. And that's a soft skill. A lot of people are overlooking it and not paying attention to it. Being friendliness, you know what I mentioned earlier, your friends, your colleagues looking forward to coming to work on Monday because we're a friendly person, a pleasant person to be around. So this, I don't want to go, we don't have the time to go into all of, you know, talking about all the details of the soft skills, but just understand that being a good, well-rounded human being is good for business. It's important for us to understand that because the future belongs to those who can combine technical skills, soft skills, and that is the ultimate alpha skill. If you don't have soft skills, there is a struggle because people usually get hired for their talent, but 90% of people get fired <laughs> because they are impossible human beings to deal with. You can be talented, gifted, perfect in your job. But if you're a difficult person to, lead, to deal with, sometimes organizations are forced to let such people go. And I'm sure that we have experienced it one way or another as we have been you know, in the profession. Seeing people come and go, not because they lack the skills, not because they are not qualified, but because they are just bringing the whole team down and making everyone miserable. Why? Because they lack some skills. And that's why there's a saying, higher character, train skills. How many people have heard that? Higher character, train skill. Because you can't train somebody's character. You have to do it yourself. You have to do it yourself. Oh, I think there's something I needed to highlight there. Empathy, right? Empathy is important. It's one of the skills that is needed in this age and time. Like I mentioned earlier, if someone is going through a hard time, you will understand why they are behaving the way they are behaving. Which means you are seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another, and feeling with the heart of another person. That's what empathy is all about. And it's important that we have developed these skills within us.